Apple Cider Vinegar, Apple Cider Vinegar Lab Incorporated, Apple Cider Vinegar. Yeah. Yeah, we got a great product coming out. Yeah, we're, I, yeah, the lab has gotten another $10 million to do studies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got some new scientists. They still have all their teeth. And we're going to give them lots of apple cider vinegar. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm still taking mine. That's right. Apple cider vinegar labs. Hello, incorporated. Apple cider vinegar. Yeah, we just got a grant for another $10 million. Uh-huh. We got a good product now. Lots of influencers are going to be recommending it. Yeah. Well, the young influencers, they don't know that they're going to lose their teeth yet. Yeah. They don't know what we see here. We see that acetic acid gets everybody to lose their teeth. The, the, the influencers that are in their 20s, they don't know this. I know. Isn't it great? They won't know until they're 40. <laughs> They won't know until they're 40, yeah, until they're 35 years old, and then they're going to get their teeth rolling. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Well, yeah, we got some new scientists. They're the, they got teeth still. Yeah, they're young scientists. They're in their 20s. It's all right. We're going to get them, to, we're going to get them into the cider vinegar, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're saying this new thing that apple cider vinegar is good for your digestion and good for your good for your heart now. Yeah. And we're gonna say apple cider vinegar is good for your heart, good for your digestion, and good for uh-huh, good for everything, good for your gut. Uh-huh, we're gonna make sure everybody's convinced that it's good for your gut. Oh, investors? Oh yeah, I know. Lots of lots of companies now are investing. Yeah, because they just want to go for the ride. Uh-huh. Doesn't matter what acetic acid does to everybody. Who cares? Doesn't matter if they're gonna lose their teeth later. I didn't want to get my I didn't want to get my implants. No, I didn't want to get the implants. I felt to go all natural. Yeah. Alright, we gotta get going. We got a lot going on here. We gotta get going. Alright, we got a show to put on. Let's go! We're live! It's amazing you, what you can do with a little bit of dulse and nori on your teeth. You know, it's, it's crazy. If you want to heal and you're really sick, you're not going to make it to the finish line if you're doing vinegar, hands down. It's not going to happen, I'm telling you right now. We're talking about apple cider vinegar. We're talking about the do's and don'ts. We're going to talk about what it does inside the body. If I get a little help from my friend over here, we're going to talk about what happens inside the body. We're going to talk about all vinegar. We're going to talk about what happens to your teeth, what happens to your gut, your stomach glands. We're going to talk about how it's a sham and a scam turning into a cult. The apple cider vinegar cult is what it is. And we're going to talk about what it does to your bones. We're going to talk about bacteria, good bacteria versus bad bacteria, good bacteria versus bad bacteria. You know, I get it, you guys. I want to help. I want to help. I want to be at your service. At your service. But I can't pry this out of your hands. I can't. I can't pry it out of your hands. I can't. You guys love your vinegar because you're told it's good for you and you put it on everything. You put it on everything. Vinegar's on everything. But it's your grenade. And you guys just want to pull, you guys want to die. You want to pull the pin out of that grenade. You guys want to kill yourselves, what you want to do. And I could run, do a hundred yard dash, hundred yard dash to try to, to try, jump and inter, intervene. Just jump up and try to land on you and take the grenade out of your hand and stop you from pulling the pin and you'll do. You'll be like, what? You'll just blow yourself up because that's what happens. Black Island, <laughs> Black Island girl, what are you doing? You just made my day. You made my day. Health of Liz, what's happening? What's going on, you guys? And we're going to cover everything about the vinegar and how important it is and what's happening. 
But how you guys doing on TikTok? What's happening there? What's happening on TikTok? Everybody okay? Good to see you guys. You just did the moon meditation, lemon balm love. I just, first of all, you guys, before we start the show tonight, before we start the show, for any of you guys, you know, decide to ditch or whatever and watch the show later, Medical Meme Podcast at Apple Podcast. I'm doing the moon meditation tonight. Let's all do it together. I'm doing it three times tonight. I'm going to do it on the floor of my room. So I'm not going to be live with you guys in the moment, but I will be doing it in the moment. I'm going to try to connect to you guys psychically too. A whole bunch of you guys, I'm going to try to connect to you guys psychically while I'm doing the moon meditation tonight. So you find the uncensored moon meditation at Medical Medium Podcast at Apple Podcast. So Laura says, is vinegar bad for you? Oh, is it ever? I can't wait to talk about it. It's a full moon tonight. So it's the moon meditation. It's a full moon tonight. Let's all do the moon meditation together. Uh, Cindy Lou, good to see you, W. Did moon meditation this morning and yesterday. Super helpful. Amazing. So glad that's on TikTok. Claudella, love you too. Thank you for being here. You're incredible. Thank you for being here. You guys are amazing. And MM in the house. We're going to be talking about some serious nitty gritty. Fasten your seatbelts. Fasten your seatbelts because it's going to be, it's going to, we're going to be crashing. We're going to be crashing and burning down ACV. That's what we're going to be crashing and burning down ACV. Everybody wants to do something bad. You want permission. You want me to give you permission to do something bad. Manisa, you did the moon meditation last night. Cool, are you doing it tonight? I'm doing it tonight, three times tonight. I'm gonna do it earlier in the night, a little later in the night, and then late in the night, early morning in the night. That's what I'm gonna do. What's the full moon meditation? Ruse, check it out. Medical Meme Podcast at Apple Podcast. There's the moon meditation is there, it's free. Let's do it together. It's really powerful, really healing. Yeah, blow our minds, AW Mark. Hey, no problem. I'll do the best I can. The little medical meme community guys are all coming back on. If you guys are getting kicked off of IG, which I see some of you already being kicked off, go to TikTok. We're on Clubhouse too. I feel bad uh, for everybody in Clubhouse because I can't see, you know, all the stuff. I'm going to make some food, going to make some cucumber. Some cucumber pickled salad, which is going to be really fun. Lynn, the moon meditation tonight. So cool. So cool. Good to see you guys. Yep. Tell us more about the Mercury retrograde, huh? Mercury in shadow period. Would love to talk about that sometime. Um, and I will someday. We'll get to it. I promise we'll get to it. Please, more podcast episodes. Working on them, and then I'm going to release a whole bunch. It's, it's in the works. It's in the works. You guys, we're here talking about ACV, what it does and everything, okay? Everybody wants permission to do something bad. Do you want permission? You want to do, you want to do the bad stuff? Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, I'm a health authority. I'm a health, I'm a health professional in a health scene. I'm an author. I'm gonna give you permission. Let's just, let's just do vinegar. Make sure you do lots of vinegar. I'll give you the permission here. Do your vinegar, it's good for you. Do your fermented food, do your caffeine. Let me give you all the permission. You guys, I know it. people want permission to poison themselves in moderation. They want permission to poison themselves. I get it, you want validation that your poison is okay to do. That's what you want, I know. So many of you want validation that your poison is okay to do. Chin Moya says, why people speak ill about you in spite the evidences you provide, which inspires everyone. Why people speak ill of me. I, uh, let's see. Hmm. I could think of a whole bunch of reasons why people speak ill of me. That's right. Because, and I was talking about this on YouTube and Facebook, you guys. Here, there's a secret code when you get to a certain level in the health field. I'm just letting you guys know an alternative medicine. Just gonna give you, I, I get in trouble for saying this. There's a secret code. When you reach a certain level in alternative medicine, it, like, like a certain level, like you know, number one New York Times bestselling author, seven books, published in almost every country around the world, millions and millions of copies saving lives around the world, that's medical medium information, right? Largest health community in the world of people with chronic illness healing, right? People healing with chronic, chronic illness. So that puts me in the whole ranks of, you know, whoever's podcast doctors with New York Times bestselling author books or whoever's got this, whoever's got some big, 
chain of health food stores, whatever it is, right? It puts you in that realm. But there's a secret code when you get to that realm. You're not supposed to talk smack about the shareholders crap, right? You're not supposed to talk smack about the apple cider vinegar world because shareholders will hate you. Because it's against the rules when you get up into this level of alternative medicine like medical medium has, right? It's against the rules. I'm not supposed to be di dissing any stuff that you guys do. I'm not supposed to be dissing caffeine. That's a no-no. I'm not supposed to be dissing kombucha tea. There's millions of dollars behind kombucha tea businesses. I'm not supposed to be ditching that. I'm not supposed to be dissing that, I mean. I'm not supposed to be dissing the vinegar, the apple cider vinegar. I'm not supposed to be dissing the you know, mushroom coffee. I'm not supposed to be dissing the alkaline water machines, which poison you with toxic heavy metals. I'm not supposed to be dissing all this stuff in alternative medicine. When you get to a certain level, you have to just shut up. Mum's the word, and you have to join the cult. So what happens is that I'm technically supposed to join the cult now. The cult is all the trends, all the investors and shareholders of all the trends, all the protein powder shareholders, all the kombucha tea shareholders, ACV shareholders, collagen shareholders. I'm supposed to shut my mouth and join forces with them and put out a medical medium collagen, a medical medium apple cider vinegar, a medical medium kombucha tea and shut up. And then I'm supposed to get a whole bunch of shareholders to do it with me that are all part of shareholders of everybody else doing everything. That's the secret code and you guys don't know this. And so when I go against all the crap and go against all the crap, I'm breaking code. That's how it works. I'm breaking code. You guys, you guys don't know this though. It's you guys don't know about the mob. You don't know the mob and how it works. You don't know about like the trend mob. It's the trend mob and the shareholders of the trend mob. The caffeine shareholders, you guys don't know. The chocolate shareholders. So when I go against chocolate, I'm going against all the you know, the shareholders, right? All that, the chocolate industry, right? So these guys, they, I'm supposed to shut up. Like, shut up, be a robot. I'm going to be like this guy. I'm going to be like that guy in the podcast. I'm going to be quiet. I got to be quiet. Can't help you anymore. That's what's supposed to happen, okay? The medical industry makes trillions of dollars off of you being sick, and the alternative industry makes trillions of dollars off of you being sick, and here you get the answers to heal. Now, one of the answers. Yes, decaf coffee bag. Yes, it is. One of the answer. Health with Liz, ACV gummies. <laughs> I know you're not eating those. One of the answers is don't do the vinegar. Don't do it. Don't do it. If your doctor tells you to do it, do it. <laughs> if your doctor tells you to do ACV, do it. As your doctor says. But I wouldn't. In a million years. And I wouldn't have any family member doing it. And I wouldn't have any doctor that called me up for help, which they do. I wouldn't have any doctor do it. No. <laughs> so the ACVs, you don't want to do that. It's not good for me. ACV is not good for me. So uh, let's go into it a little bit on what happens and what goes on. You want to play around with vinegar, you're going to get burned. You're going to go along, you're 24, you're in the gym, you're working out, you're working your abs out, you're trying to build up your butt, butt muscles, you're building up your butt muscles, you're building up your abs, you're in the gym, then you're doing your swimsuit picks, and then you're doing your lifestyle picks, and you're doing your ACV, and you're doing whatever, and you're doing your caffeine, you're doing all your stuff, all's great, all's great, you're 36 years old, and boom, all your teeth fall apart. And you get all the implants, you get all the root canals, you get all the, you got, well, anyway, everybody's getting veneers anyway. I mean, it doesn't matter if their teeth are good or bad. Everybody just wants veneers. But the point is, is that that's what's going to happen to everybody. What's wrong with mushroom coffee? There's nothing wrong with reishi mushroom. There's nothing wrong with chaga mushroom, okay? But there's everything wrong with caffeine and then you being suckered into thinking you feel good on your reishi because they put a psychoactive drug mixed in your reishi, mixed in your chaga. You could be on your mushroom. When you take your reishi mushroom, you're not gonna feel that high because you're not gonna be jacked up on caffeine. When you take your chaga mushroom, you're not gonna feel that high because you're not gonna be jacked up on caffeine. So what's wrong with it is you're thinking you're doing something good for yourself and you're being you're being, you know, the drug dealers are convincing you to take it that way, right? And that's how it works. Well, yeah, if you mix lion's mane, lion's mane, mane with, uh, um, with coffee, yeah, it's the coffee giving you the high. And it's unfair to you guys. 
It's unfair. And then it's a pyramid. Then it's an MLM marketing scheme. So then you're just all part of the ML, MLM marketing scheme for the caffeine industry, the drug dealers. You should listen to the coffee, matcha, tea, and chocolate episode, Medical Medium Podcast, it out the podcast. I'm Medical Medium. ACV did a lot of damage to my teeth. Lilacs, it does so much damage to everybody. People don't realize it. And you guys think you outsmart me. You think you outsmart me. I get it. You're like, oh, yeah. I'm going to make sure I put a straw in here because AW doesn't know. I'm going to make sure my ACV doesn't touch my teeth and it goes past my teeth. Nice try. It has to just go into your bloodstream. It doesn't have to touch the teeth for you to lose your teeth. Yeah. Vinegars are everywhere. They're in ketchup, mustard. They're in burgers. They're in, they're in everywhere. They're on burgers. They're on hot dogs. Oh, you don't eat hot dogs. You don't eat burgers. Right? You don't need hot dogs, you don't need burgers. They're on salads, they're in hot sauces, they're in salsas, they're in dressings, they're in everything. Vinegar's in everything. Vinegar's in everything. Oh, oh. Uh, I got a phone call coming in now. I better get ready for this phone call. Uh. Yeah. Vinegar's right there. Hello? Yeah, I'm sitting in a, I'm sitting in a, a sushi res restaurant right now. I'm just waiting for my sushi. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Here's the waiter. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Where's my chopsticks? Can, can, can I have my chopsticks, please? Yeah. Well, I decided to eat healthy tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is health food right here. Uh-huh. What do you mean I want to die? Why would I want to die? Just because I'm having health food. Because I, I want vinegar and mercury put together? What are you talking about, mercury? I'm having tuna. Yeah. I'm having, this is really healthy right here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for my chopsticks here. Hey, let me get my little soy sauce here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well. Oh, geez. I lost you, you there? Okay. Yeah, I got, I'm having, the, uh, there's, there's vinegar in here? What do you mean? I thought I was eating healthy. I'm on this new lifestyle diet kick. I'm like doing workouts. I'm doing like workouts every day. Yeah, I was looking good in my swimsuit. Totally was looking good. I did selfies and I posted it. Yeah, and I'm doing, what? You know, this is really healthy. I feel so good. Oh my God, I feel so light when I'm eating my sushi. I feel so good when I'm eating my sushi. It's so great. It's great. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't know I want to kill myself. What? What are you talking about? You're making me not want this right now. Vinegar and mercury? What no one realizes is that we want, we, we literally want to heal, right? We don't want to be sick. We don't have a fear of healing, I said this forever, but we want to kill ourselves. We want mercury. I want lots of mercury, please. Make sure you bring me more mercury. Yeah, that's perfect, more mercury, please. Can you bring me more vinegar? Because I really want to lose all my teeth later on. I want to lose my bones. I want osteoporosis and I want, yeah, mercury poisoning of the brain. Yes, please, more mercury. Yeah, I want to kill myself, of course. That's what we want to do. You kill yourself slowly. It, it's really amazing what happens here. Yeah, you used to do sushi, Veronica, uh, Verica on TikTok. Oh my God, I used to do live sushi. You don't even realize how much vinegar you're consuming, you guys. It's basically every single thing you eat. It pulls calcium out of your bones. It pulls calcium out of your bones. It pulls calcium out of your teeth. That's what it does. It pulls calcium out of your teeth from the inside out. So when you're 40, your teeth fall apart and crash in on themselves. Why do I even care? There's nothing in it for me. There's nothing in it for me. <laughs> Basically what it is, it's a service I'm running, a free service, so you don't lose your teeth later on. Why should I even care? Cares if you guys lose your teeth when you're 40 or 35 or 50 or 60 or it happens when you're 65. Why should I even care? Just so what? Lose your teeth. Who cares? But I do care. 
I do care. That's the problem. I do care. Okay? And I talk about vinegar in the cleansing heal book. By the way, you guys, just for the record, I'm just giving you a little forewarning on this. In July, I'm doing the Mono Eating Cleanse Challenge in July. Make sure you have a copy of Cleanse to Heal. You can get it free at the library. It's also 51% off at Amazon.com US. Make sure you have this life-saving book. It's important. Join the free, F-R-E-E, -E, join the free Mono Eating Cleanse Challenge in July with me. We're going to do it together. It's free. You just got the book? Cool. Behind Broccoli? Amazing. Behind Brook? Incredible. Belinda Brook? Amazing. And you know, this is so important. Such a great book. Such a great book. So make sure you have this if you don't have it because, and it's 51% off Amazon.com US. Letting you know, Mono and Cleanse Challenge next month is what we're doing. So let's go into it a little bit more real quick. You, you would use the vinegar. It's on everything. I talked about how it's on everything. It's on everything. And it dissolves the teeth from the inside out. You get the osteopenia, get the osteoporosis, the osteoporosis, you get the teeth problems is what happens. You bought the book today, incredible, incredible. Any kind of vinegar, it's all the same. Keep that in mind. Vinegar is a cleaning agent for your sink. Vinegar's a cleaning agent for your toilet. Vinegar's a cleaning agent. So K, K Pung says, so apple cider vinegar is bad? It's really bad. It will make sure you guarantee your teeth weaken and fall apart down the road. You may be an early candidate for that and you may be a later candidate for that. Candidate that. Calcium builds up in your toilet, it builds up in your sink, it builds up in your shower drain, your, your, your kitchen sink, and vinegar has a reaction to calcium. It destroys calcium. That's what it does, you guys. It destroys calcium. That's what vinegar does. So vinegar destroys calcium, which means your calcium in your bones. When vinegar enters your bloodstream, the acidic nature of it is so high, acetic acid, that in order for your body to get out of the crisis, it has to leach your calcium out of your teeth, out of your bones. It has to leach it out, is what it has to do. It has to leach out your calcium into your bloodstream. So your bloodstream has to get filled up with your calcium. That's how it works. So when you consume that vinegar, you're losing your calcium. Vinegar is good for windows cleaning. Yeah, window cleaning. Can it be replenished after the ACV? Yeah, you got to do the right things. We're making a dish that has something high in calcium, which is the lemon right here. The lemon right here, high in calcium. Very important to know. Let's go into pickles organs. Talk about that a little bit real quick, you guys. We got other stuff to cover. Let's do that, okay? Making some room. All right. Okay. So what happens is you lose your calcium, so you start losing your bones. You get the osteopenia, osteoporosis. It's gonna come, it's gonna hit everybody. It just does. Everybody's on too much vinegar, right? They're on too much vinegar. So let's go into this now, okay? And talk about this a little bit, all right? Okay. There's a pickling action that occurs inside the body. Vinegar can pickle your organs because it mixes with your salt water inside your blood. The salt water inside your blood reacts to vinegar. So every time you guys have vinegar, every time a chemical interaction occurs. The vinegar and the salt in your bloodstream both react and then something occurs with your cells and your cells of your organ, your organs, okay? You dehydrate the cells and a pickling occurs because the interaction of vinegar, ACV, doesn't matter if it's apple cider vinegar, reacting to the salt in 
your bloodstream. That's how you pickle, okay? You guys, just like pickling a cucumber, it's the same way as pickling a cucumber. Keep that in mind, right? Apple cider vinegar, exactly. It's the same way. <laughs> so what happens, look, when it comes down to teeth, this is how it works. And just don't get, don't get fooled, all right? Don't get fooled. I got a phone call coming in, by the way. But don't get fooled. There's, here's how it works, okay? You're consuming your vinegars, consuming your vinegars. You're also consuming your salt because that's what you guys are doing. You're consuming your salt. You're consume, consuming your sodium and your vinegar, okay? Even if you're not doing salt. Yeah, a Podcast Doctor, Inc., Podcast Doctors Incorporated. Yeah, I just had my teeth done. Yep, that's right. Yeah, what about the other podcast doctors? Yeah, they had their teeth done too. Oh, what? Who? Doctor who? Yeah, I know. He's got, he's got veneers. He's got a couple of implants too. Yeah. What, doctor what? Oh, no, he's got like fillings everywhere. All his molars are filled up with fillings. Yeah, he's just filled everywhere. Uh-huh. Guy, guy doesn't even have, all his teeth are hollow. Yeah, who else? Doctor what? Yeah, doctor. Yeah, that other podcast doctor. Yeah. He's also selling all his supplements. Yeah, that guy's got like missing teeth everywhere. He's got implants in, titanium implants. He's had root canals. He's got a bridge. Yeah, the other podcast doctor. Yeah, he's got it too. Exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. Does the medical meme community realize this? Do they realize that all the guys right now are just all their teeth are completely all done? They're like, they've been done with like implants and veneers and yeah. And they're out there preaching about high fat this and high fat that and vinegar this and vinegar that and all this stuff, good stuff. Everything they keep on saying it's good stuff. Yeah. Do you think the medical meme community is getting wise to it finally? Yeah. Did you know a lot of men influencers in health are all getting filler in their face? They're getting filler in their jaw. They all have filler in their lips, filler in their jaw to make them look more masculine. Uh-huh. Do you know they're all like, yeah, do you know your faith, their faces are all changing slowly? Yeah. And their all teeth are all done? Uh-huh. Exactly. Okay, listen. All right, we got to keep on moving. So, you guys, you can pickle your brain, you can pickle your liver, you can pickle your kidneys. Did you know that? You can pickle your brain, your liver, your kidneys. You can pickle yourself. Because what happens is, Vinegar and salt squeeze out fluid, but leave the toxins and the poisons. So here's how it works. When salt and vinegar enters your liver, it dehydrates your liver, leaving the poison behind, squeezing out the water, not in a diuretic fashion. No, the water still stays in the body. It moves to places it's not supposed to be and it renders it useless. So if you do a lot of vinegar and a lot of salt, you can die. If someone was to administer a large amount of vinegar, a large amount and a large amount of salt, they would die. Their organs would shut down because they would eventually get pickled. It's just that we do moderation. A little bit of salt here, a little bit of vinegar here, a little bit of salt here, a little bit of vinegar here, a little bit of salt. When you're not so sick or not sick at all, you can play the moderation game. But man, when you're sick, the moderation game of a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of salt here, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of salt here, a little bit of vinegar. The moderation game when you're really sick can literally push you to a place where you can't get better. You can't heal when you're doing a little bit of salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar. You can't heal when you're doing the salt and vinegar. You can't. You can't heal. You won't get better you won't get better. So when you... <laughs> Health with Liz, Death by a Thousand Cuts. That was a cool post the other day, by the way, that, that um, we reposted. You know, it, it's like this. You guys, toxins and poisons preserve in the center of a pickle in the jar. When you pickle a cucumber in the jar, water is sucked out of the cells of the pickle, redistributed it, 
in other places of the pickle, vinegar and salt removes that water from the cucumber cells. And then what's left is any toxins in the water outside of the pickle, the, the cucumber, any toxins in the water floating around in the glass jar adjacent, like floating around, peripheral, around the cucumber, gets driven by the vinegar and the salt into the pickle cell. So here's how it works. Any toxins you bring in every day, chemtrail toxins you breathe in, pesticide toxins, herbicides, whatever, plastics, petrochemicals, gasoline fumes, whatever, colognes, perfumes, scented candles, air fresheners, those poisonous chemicals and toxins get attached to vinegar and pushed into cells, leaving them in the cells behind, and water that's precious gets separated, pushed out of the cell, and that's how pickling process works. So, I'm going to HCl and hydrochloric acid. Let's head into there now, okay? All right? Makes so much sense, Rose, on TikTok. Makes so much sense. Exactly. Head to another area, the stomach glands. We're being taught to destroy our stomachs with apple cider vinegar or vinegars. The cult that I explained a little bit earlier, the cult that I refuse to join, I refuse to join the alternative medicine cult out there. The cult is all the trend shareholders, money, the big money on all the trendy garbage products. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do anything, it's gotta be a product that's actually really helping people if I ever do anything, okay? If I do anything, like I'm working with the wild blueberry juice because <laughs> that's not vinegar. That's not collagen. <laughs> that's to make sure that stuff's out there as medicine for people, but and, and, and I don't even have my own brand. It's like, that's a whole other story. I won't join the cults, come out with a medical medium brand of something toxic, right? But here's how it works with all the cults. They teach you how to destroy organs without you knowing it. So when you're doing your vinegars, you're burning out your stomach glands inside your stomach. So if you guys want to learn something that's critical, if this is the only thing you take away. Like, say you leave this video we're making right here and you leave it with I don't really like his his I don't like his demeanor I don't like the way he looks uh, he's ugly or he's got you know he's got an attitude or whatever you think if you leave here just with this piece of information you're scoring what happens is your stomach lands inside your stomach right produce your HCl your hydrochloric acid your hydrochloric acid is your bad bacteria disinfectant which we're gonna head into bacteria in a little bit. That's your bad bacteria disinfectant. It's your stomach glands, okay? Years of vinegar, years of high fat diet, years of caffeine, kill your stomach glands. But vinegar's a big one. Vinegar kills your stomach glands, you guys. But here's the thing. Vinegar is in everything. So it slowly destroys your stomach glands, okay? slowly destroys your stomach glands, all right? But eventually, you end up getting sold to take, say, apple cider vinegar to help your stomach and digestion. And it temporarily might do that. And I'll tell you why. It pickles your stomach glands when you do a higher dosage. So when you do a higher dosage of vinegar, like apple cider vinegar, and you dump in a couple of tablespoons or a tablespoon you squeezed your stomach glands and you squeezed all the hydrochloric acid it had left in it, left in it in the moment. So you get a burst, a feeling like your digestion might have improved for a moment. You see where the psych out is? But what you just did was you squeezed every last drop out of those stomach glands until it could restore again for the next day. Then you did it again and you squeezed every last drop out again. See how it works? And when that happens, you eventually go into a dangerous place. Two months later, three months later, depending on how, how strong you are, six months later, a year later, your stomach glands quit. And now you've got the worst case of SIBO, the worst case of digestive problems, all kinds of Crohn's colitis celiac, all kinds of gastric uh, cramps, flatulence, cramping, gastroparesis eventually. 
because you just basically annihilated your stomach glands with vinegars. If this is all you can take from me, take it. M Court on IG says, yep, this is me. BV Acaro, good to see it. Just so you fly up there in this comment. So, you see how it works? I <laughs> did that purpose, Alina. You said I love it when you say, see how it works? <laughs> Kimchi, okay, it's fermented foods. We're going to cover fermented foods next. Can't wait. We're going to cover bacteria. When I quit, I didn't know it was the ACV all this time. Yeah. You know when you quit the ACV, right? Right? Lunel, good to see you. Okay, you guys. I'm going to put the stomach back in here. Hydrochloric acid is a survival method of our survival of the body's innate ability to survive creates HCL. HCL kills off bad bacteria. That's the very thing that kills off the bad bacteria. You want to balance your gut? You got to have your HCL. Your HCL has to be strong. That's why medical medium community starts to heal. And even if they don't know why they're healing, they're healing because they're doing their celery juice. They're healing because they're restoring their HCL, their hydrochloric acid. They're doing their heavy metal detox smoothie. They're doing high quality supplements in the heavy metal detox smoothie like the Vimergy spirulina. They're doing the good stuff, right? The medical meme community heals up their hydrochloric acid whether they know it or not. Whether they know it or not. Cole says, drank ACV last summer. Now I have many cavities. Right? Now I have many cavities, Cole said. Drank ACV last summer. But who pays the price? Who pays the price? Right? Is it the ACV industry? Is it the caffeine industry who loves the ACV industry because they're all in bed together with all the same kind of product lines? Or is it the butter industry and your, all your products now and in your, your crap that you're drinking and eating? Is it because they're trying to tell you that fat's good, fat's good? Who, who pays the price? When all your teeth start falling apart, you pay the price because you can't do nothing about it. Shoot, just joined. What did I miss about ACV meditation? You got to watch the video from the beginning. Fermented foods, including vinegar, was a survival technique, not a health technique. How many times do I have to tell you guys that? Fermented foods was a... If you get shoved down your throat about how, oh, a thousand years ago, that's what they did, fermented foods. Oh, kimchi, a thousand years ago. Oh, fermented um, boshi paste, 10,000 years ago. Um, you know, uh, fermented food, 10, 3,000 years ago. Nobody even knows that anybody ate 3,000 years ago. Oh, you know, for, you know for, uh, fermented food, thousands of years ago. First of all, here's how it worked, okay? What happened is, a thousand years ago, 500 years ago, 400 years ago, 300 years ago, right? Nobody had refrigerators. Nobody had the Whole Foods market around the corner. Nobody had shopping markets. Nobody had shopping malls. Nobody had any, no one had, um, uh, you know, like like uh, charity, charity organizations, nonprofit charity organizations that were giving out some food. No one had anything back three, four hundred, five hundred years ago, a thousand years ago. So the only way to stay alive is you took whatever you grew, you took it all and gathered it up, and you put it in a big clay ceramic pot, and you let it sit there and rot. Because you couldn't freeze it, you couldn't refrigerate it, you couldn't do anything. And then you would eat your livestock, you guys. When you got hungry and ran out of food, you would have two choices right there. You either eat your livestock, which you're gonna need for the spring, right? To plow your field and grow more food, or you're gonna eat your putrefied, fermented vegetation you threw from your field into a clay vat, right? So you would go to that clay vat and you would eat the slop out of it to survive through the winter because you didn't have a market around the corner. You were in a village 400 years ago, somewhere in China, you were in a village 400 years ago, somewhere in the Middle East. You were in a village 400 years ago, somewhere in Europe. And you didn't have any option to get food in the dead of winter. So what would happen 
is that you would then eat whatever you fermented in the big vat pot just sitting there soaking up all that fermented stuff. You see how it works, you guys? It wasn't a health technique. It was a survival technique. Don't be fooled. Fermented foods will not take you to the finish line if you're really sick. If you're not so sick and you're not sick, you can play in that land. I get it. Kombucha, the same thing. Kombucha turns your blood into straight acid. Kombucha tea turns your blood into straight acid. I know that gives me nothing but trouble because then the kombucha shareholders are going to be on my butt because that's what's going to happen. Okay? Because you're not supposed to have a platform this big, have that many books around the world, published it all around the world, and start ripping apart the cults. You're not allowed to tear into the cult. The kombucha cult, the caffeine cults. Kombucha turns your blood into straight acid, which means you leach all your calcium and you get osteopenia faster and you lose your teeth faster and you get all the acids. Kombucha tea is a bad acid. Health of Liz, you drank so much kombucha tea at one point, right? Yeah. Fermented foods don't harbor microorganisms that we naturally harbor in our body. Did you guys know that? Fermented foods isn't the microorganisms that we harbor naturally inside our body. So why is everybody trying to snake oil us into them? Why is everybody trying to feed us nothing but microorganisms that aren't naturally inside our body? Because that's what they do. Fermented foods harbor microorganisms that are on death. So when something dies, those microorganisms are on it. Inside our body, we're not supposed to be dead. We're supposed to be alive inside our body. Okay? I know everybody, infinite wellness, everybody will pressure you into kombucha. It's a cult. It's a cult. Shareholders literally pay money and advertise that stuff to the cows come home. That's what it is. It's, it's a cult. That's what those are. Okay? Yeah. I mean, alternative medicine. Decaying food, the bacteria on decaying dead food is not the bacteria we use to battle good bacteria or balance the gut. So here's the next part that's really important. This is really, really important. When you do your ACV with mother in it because you think you're like so smart, you got the mother in there, or you do your, your, your kimchi, or you do your, you know, boshi paste, or you do your sauerkraut, or you do your kombucha tea, whatever it is, or you do your yogurt, okay? You're putting in microorganisms that aren't naturally to do anything inside our body, okay? That's important to know. Now, any bad bacteria in your gut, any bad bacteria in your gut doesn't interfere or battle or play around with the good bacteria. Good bacteria in your gut doesn't do anything to bad bacteria. They don't fight. They don't fight. See? Anybody who says in the gut health world, I know all that gut health bullshit. They all try to feed you guys. They're saying you got to balance your bet your good bacteria. You got to balance your bad and good bacteria. That's a theory that's not even real. There's no study that can show it. It's a theory. That's just the bottom line. It's somebody's idea of what's happening inside your gut. Bad bacteria is not supposed to be in your gut to begin with. It's in your gut because of classified medical science and research put it in your gut in the last hundred years. They raised all the bugs. That's what they did. It's important to know. So classified medical research and science took eggs before 1920, learned how to raise bad bacteria in them, okay? Took the bad bacteria after it proliferated and they were able to uh, raise it, took it, and then released it into the environment. Released it into the environment. Manufactured bacteria is all in our guts from the last hundred years of classified medical research and science, okay? Good bacteria doesn't have anything to do with it. They don't talk. They don't walk together, they don't fight, they don't battle, they don't do anything. You can sit there and think, you're balancing, you're good bacteria all you want, 
to help your bad bacteria or your bad bacteria imbalance your good, but it's not happening. I'm letting you know. That's how it works. And, and this is important information, really important. In order to restore your balance in your gut, you got to do with what's just helping people to get out of the woods, which is things like celery juice, right? You have to rebuild your HCL. Your hydrochloric acid is what kills off your bad bacteria. See this? Your hydrochloric acid, you guys, is what kills off your bad bacteria. See? It's not good bacteria. That doesn't kill off your bad bacteria. It doesn't. It doesn't. Good microorganisms, they live in your gut either way if they're going to be there. And they have nothing to do with bad microorganisms. Okay? They don't hang out. They're not friends. Right? Very important to know. Hydrochloric acid, when you rebuild your hydrochloric acid, stopping vinegar is one way to do it. You get strong hydrochloric acid, and strong hydrochloric acid kills your bad bacteria. Blech. Blech. Kills it. They can't battle. They don't fight each other. Every time a gut health doctor tries to convince you of some new product that's out there, paid for by the gut health product companies, when every time someone tries to sell you some fermented food or whatever, that bacteria in there doesn't do anything to stop anything. It doesn't battle bad bacteria. It doesn't do anything with bad bacteria. All this information is so important. In order to restore hydrochloric acid, you got to get rid of the poisons that you're being brainwashed to do. Your caffeine, you got to knock the caffeine down. Got to knock the chocolate back. You got to, you got to, got to knock down the chocolate. I get it. A lot of influencers are coming out with their own chocolate, right? Because they know you're going to buy it. You're going to buy it because you're addicted. You're suckers. You're addicted. You're going to buy their chocolate. They come out with their own chocolates, but then they dabble in everything else, right? They come out with their own vinegars. You got to get rid of your vinegar. You got to get rid of your caffeine. You got to get rid of these things if you want to rebuild your HCL and get better. Look, look, you don't have to do anything. Keep your HCV in there, keep your caffeine in there. Just do what you want, if you want, right? X Rose X, good to see you. Right? X Rose X, what is it like five o'clock in the morning? Are you like overseas? Because you always say you have to wait on the comment section. You always say you have to wait until like four in the morning or something for these lives. I'll try two minute different times someday. Let's make some food. Not going to put vinegar in it either. Uh -uh. No, no, no. So what I'm doing is, let me get a bowl out, right? Making a cucumber pickled salad, double size serving. Keep that in mind, you guys, we got some food to make. I'm gonna do the moon meditation tonight. It's a full moon, Med medical medium podcast at Apple Podcasts. Make sure you join me at medical medium podcast at Apple Podcasts. And I wanna get, before I start making the food, remind you, I'm doing the mono cleanse challenge in July. Having the book is a critical piece of it. Understanding the mono cleanse, you guys should do it. It's in the middle of the summer, depending on where you are. Of course, if it's the winter somewhere else in the world, still is a good time to do it. The mono eating cleanse challenge in July, 51% off amazon.com US. Vinegar, fermented foods we're talking about, so we're gonna cover that. Let me just start making this. I'm gonna make a marinade real quick, you guys. So let's just get some uh, lemons in here, okay? A couple tablespoons of lemon juice, right? There we go, let's do this. So we're making a marinade without vinegar, keep that in mind. Doing the moon meditation, full moon, doing the moon meditation tonight. I'm doing it three times tonight. I can't wait, I hope you guys join me. I'm really excited about it. Squeeze a lemon in here. Jenny Max says, you, you have to get another five books. I'm out. I gave 20 away. <laughs> Incredible. I just dumped my vinegar down the drain. Melissa, it's the best thing you can do. If you're sick, if you're someone struggling with anything, 
If you've got anything going on, even if you're not so sick, it's the best thing you can do. Even if you're not sick, it's the best thing you can do. Health of Liz, you can't wait either for the moon meditation tonight or, or for the uh, mono eating cleanse challenge, which is going to be a hoot. Use lemon or lime instead of vinegar. Keep that in mind. Lemon or lime instead of vinegar. All right. Can I move the sushi? I got to move the sushi, you guys. I got to get it out of the way. Right. So let's get some honey in here. Let's do that. Lemon don't hurt teeth and bones. Lemon doesn't hurt teeth and bones. Just so you know. Lemon is rich in calcium and it's alkaline inside of our body. Keep that in mind. Zare says on TikTok, I only keep uh, vinegar around to clean my toilet. Yeah, it's a great cleaner. Cleans calcium. There's a reason. Vinegar reacts to calcium, which means it reacts to calcium inside your bones, inside your teeth, right? But the Colts, they, they don't care. You just keep on doing it. Keep the shareholders happy and all the Colts. Keep the Colts happy, yep, and all the health, the health food movement. Okay. It, apple cider vinegar topical is great. I like it. I like it in shampoos. I like it topically. Um, check out the apple cider vinegar podcast so you can learn about that. So what I'm doing is I'm peeling back some cucumber. Do you guys see this? I don't know what you guys can see. Right? Lemon is alkaline. Lime is alkaline. Alkaline inside the body restores calcium. The lemon and lime trees bring calcium from deep within the earth, deep within the sand and clay, okay? The sandy loam. They, they take up the calcium. That's what they do. It searches for calcium. Lemon and lime are loaded in calcium. So I'm, I'm doing thin, see these thin slices of cucumber? I'm making a, a cucumber, pickled cucumber salad. You see that? Let's keep on doing this. This is coming out great. Coming out great. Yeah. Look, maybe you don't need to heal. Maybe you're not ready. You don't need to. But I'm pretty sure everybody wants to heal. No one wants to be sick. Everybody wants to heal. But it's hard to it's hard to get around the the cult. Colts hard to get around, man. They're really rough. It's like the Jim Jones cult. Science research is the Jim Jones cult. The ultimate, you know, Jim Jones cult. All the alternative medicine uh, world is like the cults now too. It's really hard to get around them. They're all about shareholders and you taking products that aren't good for you. It's it's astonishing. You have so much energy, EW. I've been up since 4.45 this morning. Been working on the book feverishly, trying to get the book done. Let's talk about hives a little bit, right? People who have hives are dealing with a lot of toxins inside their liver. Their liver's stagnant and sluggish. It's already been clogged up with a lot of poisons. A lot of people have a little bit of Epstein-Barr in there, a lot of Epstein-Barr in there. All the byproduct from the virus sits in there. What happens is every time, you know, that blood rushes through the liver, you can get a hive, right? But anything flushing and cleaning can create a hive too, meaning it's not causing the hive. If you do lots of lemon water and you do a lemon water flush in the morning, you might have such a dirty liver at first that your liver eventually flushes out and all those toxins end up bringing up the hives, right? And, and, and that's how it works. Same thing with celery juice, man. You start dumping a lot of celery juice in you when you're really dirty inside, damn, that stuff might start moving around and you might have a hive because you've already had hives on and off in your life. You're already dirtied up, your liver's dirtied up, you're filled with all this junk and garbage. But you might be somebody that's about to get hives and you never had them because you were already on your way to getting them. You were on your way to getting sick. And when the liver gets overburdened and sluggish and stagnant, the liver gets overburdened, sluggish and stagnant. I'm gonna make one more cucumber here. 
your liver gets filled with all the poisons. It's stagnant, it's sluggish. It's already about to release a bunch of garbage. Then you go and you start cleansing a little bit and that stuff's gonna come out faster. So you might get some hives, but you're already gonna get them no matter what. And you may already have had them already, regardless on and off in your life. What happens is once you start cleaning things up and you get rid of the garbage, you get rid of the caffeine and the vinegar and you get rid of all the high fat and you get rid of the milk, cheese, butter and eggs and dairy and you start actually um, doing some celery juice and heavy metal detox movie, you eventually be high free. High free, man. High free. A lot of people go on medical medium because they feel like they're just due for it. They're sick, they're getting sicker, or they feel like something's coming on. They don't know it internally. I better cleanse because something inside of you says, if I don't cleanse, start taking care of myself, I'm going to start going downhill. And then you start cleansing and all of a sudden something pops up because it was already going to pop up. That happens to some people. But you're still doing yourself a great justice by cleaning it up so you can be free from it and past it and then on your way. Someone's really toxic. You start with lower amounts of celery juice, maybe four ounces of celery juice. Maybe look at look at this cucumber in here, you guys, to start with. It's a cucumber salad. You see what I'm doing here? It's in the marinade right now. We're live on TikTok and we're live on IG. If you get kicked off IG, go to TikTok. Okay? What you do is you start removing the troublemakers in your diet. That's really good. You get rid of the milk, the cheese, the butter. You get rid of the vinegar. Start getting rid of the caffeine. Get rid of the chocolate. Okay, all that counts. Now I'm gonna thinly slice some onions right here. That alone can help you and get, get you to a great place. Lowering the fats is another thing all on its own. You lower the fats. You could try the mono eating cleanse. That's a great cleanse right there. You guys, we're doing the mono cleanse challenge in, in July. Please don't miss it. Just give you a little reminder right here. I'm making cucumber pickle salad right now, just so you know. But that's the Cleanse the Heal book right there, 51% off Amazon.com US. Take advantage of it. It's a medical textbook. Once you get this book, if you don't have it, you'll be like, why did I wait? What was I doing? I don't understand. Because the information in here will blow your mind and, and send you into a direction of healing. Like, why, why was I waiting? I don't get it. Like, why did I wait to get Cleanse the Heal? I, I don't understand. Once you get the book, you'll be like, why did I... Why did I wait? I, I don't get it. Uh, Rican Vegan says, when I drink celery juice, I get hives around my eyes. What can I do? So what happens is, if I, look, if, if, if it was happening to me, right, I would say, have I ever had anything around my eyes before? Okay, that's one thing, or anything like that. Okay, keep that in mind. The other thing I would say is, if it's only happening with celery juice, it's obviously doing some cleansing, right? What else are you doing? No, that's what I would ask myself. Am I doing caffeine? Am I doing chocolate? Am I doing nutritional yeast? Am I doing apple cider vinegar? Am I doing any vinegar at all? Like what else, what else am I doing? I would be looking into all of that right there. Get the onions on here. And then I would remove these things. Am I doing gluten? Am I doing milk, cheese, and butter? Am I doing eggs? Start getting rid of all of that. That's what I would do. Once you get rid of all of that, keep that stuff out. Keep the nutritional yeast off your kale chips. Keep your, your, your coffee out. Keep all that out. Watch the celery juice not, not happen. Now watch it not happen. Watch it not happen anymore. Okay? Once you start cleaning up the diet. Because all those different foods and things in your diet are feeding, are feeding... All the bugs that we have inside of us. Everybody's got all these bugs inside of them. They don't know it. They got all these bugs. All these bugs are keeping them sick. Okay? Guys, we're on TikTok Live. We're on IG Live. We're on Clubhouse Live. Give me the 411 right there. Okay? This is, this is a little bit of a hot pepper right here. I'm just going to give it a... I'm going to give it a chop. You guys check this out. I actually grew these, just so you know. Um, you gotta remember the high fat diet just clogs up your blood, clogs up your lymph, clogs up your, your liver first, just clogs it all up. Can clog up your heart over time. But these are different kind of hot peppers that I grew, you see? Just grew them right outside my window. And so th th this one's really hot right there. This one's scary hot though, I gotta say. I mean, that, was that, one's, that one's a little too hot too. I mean, 
some hot peppers. This one's not as bad. It's going in my cucumber pickled salad right now. Just kind of give you guys a little window there. Be careful here. Boom. Get these in here. Watch out with your hands. Don't rub your eyes, you guys. If you guys learn about hot peppers, you get hot peppers. See this right here? It's the last thing you want to do is rub your eyes. Last thing you want to do is go to the bathroom and not have your hands clean from the hot pepper. And then you're in the bathroom and then now you're screaming. Because that'll happen. <laughs> it just will. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's put some dill in here. Optional, you can have dill. And you guys, you can have, this is important enough, you can have this cucumbered pickled salad with like, as a side dish with potatoes. You can have it in a potato salad. You can have it yeah, on, on, on some medical medium tacos. You can have it in so many different ways. I'm gonna put some dill in this. I love dill. I don't know about you guys. I'm gonna mix this up. So now I'm gonna mix it, mix it all together. Okay. This is a marinade I made. It's lemon and honey marinade. Look at that. You, if you really want to put a little sea salt in here to taste, or some rock salt, something that's you know a really good salt because you're gonna eat salt anyway, and I can't stop you. What's the name of the book? It's Cleanse the Heal. Cleanse the heel. Honestly, when you get the book, you won't be sorry. You'll be like, why don't why didn't I have that book before? It'll blow your mind because you're gonna have answers to why you're sick for the first time in your life. I think that's worth it. Like having answers to why you're sick for the first time in your life. Answers that actually make sense and get people better. Carolina says, read his books and educate yourself and stop hating. Speak when you have knowledge, not an opinion only. Bye. Um yeah, it's pretty cool. Thank you for saying that comment. It's, it's really cool. And once you have this in your hand, you'll just, your, your mind will be blown. I'm just telling you. 51% off Amazon.com US. Or just try to get it free at the library. Okay? So, eczema. Cures for eczema. I mean, I have all the information with eczema in this book right here. Just wait till you have this in your hand and you read about the eczema and psoriasis so you know what to do. You guys, just so you know, there's supplements and dosages in here of what to do. If you just, I mean, oh my God, it's like, I don't know how much more I can hold like anybody's hand. I want to hold your hand. I do. I want to hold your hand, okay? Right now, I just opened up to eczema, psoriasis, including rosacea, lupus style rashes, age spots, lichen sclerosis, scleroderma, vitiligo, um, dermatitis, classic dermatitis, tenic keratosis, cellulitis, I'm going to cleanse the heel, 51% off, Amazon.com. So what is it saying here, okay? It says, fresh celery juice, work up to 32 ounces of celery juice a day. 32 ounces of celery juice a day, right? What else is in here, okay? Aloe vera, two or more inches of fresh aloe vera gel. Okay, how incredible is that? Cat's claw, interesting. Cat's claw. That's the Vimergy Cat's Claw. V is in Victor, I, M is in Mary, E, R, G, Y. No alcohol in it, no preservatives, no junk, no garbage, the best stuff. You heal when you have the knowledge and the best stuff. Then you can go the finish line. Critical to know. So there's the Cat's Claw right there. What else is in here? It says licorice root, right? Details matter, the details matter. There's no alcohol in it, no junk in here. The details matter, okay? The book is packed with information, information on hives, information, it goes in depth in cleansing. Should have the book for the Mono Cleanse Challenge next month. The details matter, you guys, I'll say it a bunch of times. Licorice root right there, that's the Vimergy licorice root. There's no licorice root out there like it that I believe. I recommend it for family and friends. I'm not sponsored, it's just the best stuff. Vimergy, V-I-M-E-R-G-Y dot com. You guys know Vimergy, right? Rose Jackson, I've given all my medical medium books away. I only have Liver Rescue left, which in my humble opinion is the most underrated <laughs> medical medium book. <laughs> Liver Rescue is an incredible book. 
I, I mean, incredible. I, a lot of doctors reach out to me and they say that they have cleanse to heal, liver rescue, and medical medium new edition. Medical medium new edition. That's what they'll say. So there's the licorice root right there. What else does it say in here? I'll say vitamin B12, adenosilcobalamin, methacobalamin, one dropper full twice a day. That's the Vimergy B12. There's none other like that out there. It's that great. It's what I recommend family, friends, and I tell doctors to use. Okay? So there's the B12, right? That's important all on its own. What else is in here? Um, vitamin C. To get eczema better, Spirit of Compassion, put vitamin C into the mix here. So vitamin C, six capsules twice a day. That's the micro C. It's the Vimergy micro C, okay? Um, I don't like other vitamin Cs. They're like battery acid. They got junk in it. That's the Vimergy vitamin C. So I'm in Cleanse to Heal right now. I'm reading supplements and dosages, six capsules twice a day of vitamin C. Do what your doctor says. Doctor tells you, bring the book to your doctor, okay? I'm just telling you what I would recommend a, a doctor who came to me or a friend and family. All medical media books are such treasures. Veronica on TikTok, thank you. It's an honor. I feel like they're treasures too. This, I feel the same way. It's from Spirit of Compassion. Remember G Rocks, right? You seem fine to me. Chris, where were you? How come I didn't see you all this time? Your comments weren't showing up? Jeez. This brand of California poppy? Levimergy right there. Visa Victor, I-M-E-R-G-Y. There's no California poppy. Not California poppy, cat's claw. California poppy. I don't think they have a California poppy. I got that one confused. If you're, not, if you're not reading or studying the books, you're missing out a great deal of information. So much detail. So, says in eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, lupus style rashes, age spots, like it's grossus, scleroderma, vitiligo, seborrheic dermatitis, classic dermatitis, Tinnic keratosis and cellulitis. You're reading too quick. Okay, lemon balm, two dropper fulls twice a day, it says in the book. Two dropper fulls twice a day. That's the Vimergy. Just giving you guys a rundown on how it works. So zinc, right? Zinc's critical when it comes down to eczema psoriasis and all the things I was just saying. Zinc, one dropper full twice a day. That's the Vimergy Zinc. V is the Victor I-M-E-R-G-Y. Um, showing you how the book works. You might want a copy of the book for the Mono Cleanse Challenge. You just a reminder, you guys, I'm doing the moon meditation tonight. Go to Medical Medium Podcast at Apple Podcasts. Check out the moon meditation there. Doing it tonight. Full moon. Where can we purchase those bottles? Vimergy.com. So... I'm not sponsored. I don't own the company and I'm not sponsored. It's just the best stuff there is and it matters. Uh, the Vim, their name is Vimergy. V is in Victor. I-M-E-R-G-Y. Vimergy.com. Uh, Riss, Rissaroo. Rissaroo. Vimergy.com. Thank you for asking because it's only going to help others too. Yep. So it matters. It matters. It matters. Details matter. Get better. So I'm um, making the marinade right now. This is the cucumber salad right here. So good, so good. You can have this with so many dishes. Carolina says, I'm just saying that his claim about anxiety, wait, no, wait. So Little Blue Birdie says, Vimergy did me right. I listened to you. Carolina, oh, so. Sorry, not Caroline. Felix said, Carolina, I'm just saying that his claim about anxiety is false. You know, like anybody out there in the health movement knows what causes crippling anxiety. Yeah, really. You know, more people have healed their anxiety with medical meme information than any be ever before in history. And where's your proof? Because your proof is false. How about that? So your proof is false about anxiety. But I'm glad you're here though. No insult intended on any level. You have your own opinion. You have your right to have an opinion. No problem. I want you to have a, your opinion. If you think, you know, my info is wrong about anxiety, you can. You have every right to believe that. That's fine. But here's the thing. Medical meme information has been proven right. That's the whole thing. And it's always proven right. Always proven right, never proven wrong, ever. It hasn't been proven wrong yet. That's a fact. Only been proven right over and over and over again. From, from literally 
right down to the kale movement that medical medium created um, in the last 20 years, right down to everything else, it's medical medium information. The whole thing about berries being good for you, that's medical medium killing himself 35 years ago to make sure you know that. The kale movement that I pushed into LA, that I pushed hard into LA, telling hundreds of doctors, hundreds of people, hundreds of practitioners, hundreds, telling everybody you have to do kale, 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 that's why the kale movement exploded. The lemon water flushing the liver, that's medical medium as well. Medical medium's only proven right, and then everybody, everybody takes the information, and that's how it works. Um, information about Epstein-Barr causing Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which you'll read about in here. Epstein-Barr causing multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, causing long COVID, all came from medical medium. So medical medium only gets proven right, just so you know. I know people don't like to hear that, but it's a fact. Only gets proven right. The reason why you know anything about me like toxic heavy metals from 35 years I was the guy 30 plus years ago telling everybody about mercury being bad in their teeth and dentists weren't even aware of it, weren't even aware of it. I remember people rolling into my office 30 years ago with all the mercury in their teeth and I'd be telling them, don't get any more mercury put in your teeth and the de dentist would be like, what's he talking about? No such thing. Mercury fillings and amalgams are fine. It's all medical medium. You know what happens when you spend a lifetime contributing to the alternative health movement to such a degree where you change the shape out of it completely and then people just piss on you, right? They'll just shit on it and be like, oh, he doesn't know this, he doesn't know that. If I didn't exist, the movement would look entirely different. No one would be talking about metals. No one would be talking about metals causing psoriasis. Wouldn't even exist, that's MM. No one would be talking about Epstein-Barr causing anything with any illness, it wouldn't exist. No one would be talking about brain inflammation right now with long COVID, that's medical medium. No one would be talking about anything. It would be nothing but bullshit food science. Try this diet, try that diet, try this diet. And no one would be talking about anxiety being caused by metals and viruses. Like if I didn't exist the whole 35 years, you know, pumping up the kale movement, pumping up the celery juice movement, pumping up everything, get, get everything like where it is, I, I don't even know. I mean, I don't even know. It's, just, it's insane, really. <laughs> ECV says, thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you, too, on TikTok. <laughs> how can I hear my... How, Ed Wood, Crest, how can I hear your podcast? You're going to be mind blown about the podcast. Okay? Last, uh, last 18 episodes. Medical Meme Podcast at Apple Podcasts Uncensored Version. We're doing the moon meditation tonight. Going to do it three times tonight. I'm going to do it earlier in the night, a little bit later in the night, a little bit later in the night is what I'm going to be doing. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited. Two years was just dabbing with MM and feel amazing and incredible. Stand up, 911 says, I respect your work. I respect you too. Yep. Dar Darlene says, love your laugh. Well, you know what, maybe, <laughs> you love my laugh because you're probably not around me all day long every minute, but people who work with me, right, I think they're tired of my laugh. <laughs> all right, you guys, um, thank you guys for everything you're doing. Really proud of all of you. We covered a few things. Let's just make sure we didn't miss out on anything really quick, okay? We talked about how the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. We talked about how your HCL kills off bad bacteria. We talked about how we, it's about getting your HCL stronger. Talked about the vinegar problems being bad. Talked about that. Talked about how you lose your calcium in your teeth because of the vinegar and have to, have to be really careful. Talked about that. I know we want to just destroy ourselves. Like it's a fault that's inside of us of some kind, like some button inside of us that says, give me permission to do everything wrong, please. Give me permission to caffeine myself to death, to fat myself to death. To, to, to apple cider vinegar myself to death, to just do whatever. Just give me permission to kombucha tea my, my bloodstream to death. Like just give me permission to, to hurt myself. It's like we have some mechanism inside of us that just wants to like believe in the cults and just literally just do everything to try to hurt ourselves. But yet we wanna heal, we wanna live forever, we wanna get better, we, wanna, we don't have a fear of healing. But at the same time, we just want we just want to hurt ourselves with the, with you know with the cult and the cult information out there. I've never seen anything like it. It's only getting worse. 
I want you guys to be able to protect yourselves. My job is to have your back and to help protect you. And I'm at your service, you guys. At your service, okay? I'm at your service, just so you know. Sending you guys love. You know it. You know I care about you guys. It's just a quick reminder, recap. Right? 51% off. Mono Cleanse Challenge next month. Keep a lookout. Make sure you have this on you. You won't be sorry. Moon Meditation tonight. Medical Mean Podcast at Apple Podcast. Okay, you guys? Be careful. Take care of yourselves. All right? And you guys know these incredible recipes. I made one tonight. Shannon Garner says we have your back too. Means the world. It means the world. Believe me. Because you see what's happening out there. You see how everybody's stealing medical meme info and not citing it anymore. They just don't cite it. They just take it. They take it and then people can't find their way back to heal completely. Because they'll be told to, hey, get your metals out with some spirulina. But make sure you do your apple cider vinegar. Right? They'll just like, it's always like going against everything. God bless you too, Natasha. And TikTok, Sabrina on TikTok. People are so sick totally. They just are. Love Journey with SOC, uh, Vegan Ghoulie on TikTok, you guys. Anna Sophie on IG, Deb on IG, Electric Track, IG. Good to see you guys. Casey Coy, glad you guys are on here tonight. Yep, we love you guys too. We do, we do. Proud of all you guys, okay? You guys are incredible human beings. Clubhouse, I love you guys too. Years to come, we're going to see people more sicker than ever before and with neurological symptoms. Now, that's being taken from, from medical medium, too, without being cited back. I've been saying it for years, and now all of a sudden there's podcast doctors saying how we're never before going to see neurological symptoms like we've never seen. Let's just, can we just be open about this? It's just, it's, and you know, and it's sad because... They're going to say that, but not say, we got that from medical medium because he's the only one that says it. We didn't know. We got it from him. And people should actually look at his stuff and get their lives back like people already are. Deanda, good to see you. Seriously. Love you guys. I got a phone call coming in. Um, and then, then we're out of here. I just had a phone call scheduled. Apple cider vinegar foundation. Yeah. Yeah, no, none of our guys have their teeth left anymore. Especially the old guys in the apple cider vinegar factory. Uh-huh. At the apple cider vinegar lab here. Yeah, no, we're all missing our teeth. Yeah, what if Frank just got a new set of dentures? Yeah, he's been down in the apple cider vinegar for years. Uh-huh. Let's just make sure shareholders. Yeah, we gotta make sure we keep on telling everybody to have their apple cider vinegar. Okay, well, all right. Make sure lots of apple cider vinegar. Nancy, 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 the receptionist at the uh, Apple Cider Vinegar Incorporated office. Yeah, Nancy, the receptionist, she, she's got osteoporosis now. Really bad case of osteoporosis. Uh huh, Jessica. Jessica down in billing. Yeah, Jessica in billing and accounting at the apple cider vinegar factory. Yeah, she's got, Jessica's got, she just had some new implants put in. Uh-huh. Yeah, she had to take a day off to go to the dentist. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, apple cider vinegar. Yeah, yeah, but we got to keep it going because we got a lot of money that's got to be made out there. Colts? What? Who's a colt? Huh? Shareholders? Yeah. Tell that medical medium he's got to stop raining on our parade. He's hurting our bottom line, our pocket. Uh huh. All right. Bye. Love you guys. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, Saturday night. Take care, you guys.